Okay, so first we'll grab the four wires that come with the seven inch touchscreen display. And we're gonna connect them to these pins on the back of the display. First we'll grab the red wire and connect it to the rightmost pin. Then we'll grab the yellow wire. We'll skip one pin and then connect it. Then we'll grab the green and then connect it to the left of the yellow wire. Then we'll grab the black and connect it at the very end. Next, we'll, we'll take the ribbon cable and we'll face it shiny side up into the ribbon cable connector. But first, we have to make sure that the connector tabs are pulled out. So as you see here, I pull them out and then the ribbon cable should just slide right in. This is responsible for, responsible for taking video from the Raspberry Pi to the seven inch display. And then we simply press down on these two tabs right here in order to secure it. I like to use a screwdriver, it sometimes helps out. Next, we'll grab our Raspberry Pi. We'll place it on top, aligning the screw holes. And we'll make sure that the HDMI port aligns with that cable at the bottom. And we'll take our four screws that come with the seven inch display. And we'll screw them in with a flathead screw, I'm sorry, with a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure not to tighten them too hard, otherwise you could damage the board. Okay, next we'll take the ribbon cable and we will connect it to the Raspberry Pi. First, make sure that the tabs are pulled out and then we'll just slide it right in. And the shiny side should be facing the appropriate way. And then we just press down on the tabs to lock it in place. Okay, now we're gonna connect these four wires from the display to the Raspberry Pi. We'll start off with the yellow one and connect it on the innermost row one in from the right hand side. Then we'll take the green one, connect it to the left of the yellow cable on the same row. Then we'll take the black cable, connect it immediately below the green cable, so on the first row. And then we'll take the red cable and connect it immediately below the yellow cable on the first row. So you should have sort of a square connection of wires. Then we'll take our Arduino connection cable, connect it to the Arduino, and then connect it to the Raspberry Pi. And you're done.